A lot of fragrances in the winter time or in the fall time are really sweet. One of my subscribers asked if I had some fragrances that weren't too sweet because on his skin they amplify and he doesn't like it so sweet for the fall and winter. So I picked some fragrances, five to be exact, off the shelf that I think are not too sweet but still smell amazing and have good performance in the cooler weather. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hello and welcome. I'm Peter from Centrail. On this channel, we talk about fragrances, designer, niche, so on and so forth, and we discover new fragrances when they come out. If you're into fragrances or you just want to smell nice, consider subscribing, love, like, all those wonderful things that support the channel. I want to thank you in advance, and now let's get into our fragrances that are not too sweet for fall and winter. You wouldn't believe it, but it's not that easy to actually look for something that'll perform in the winter months or in the colder months or fall months that still smells great but isn't really sweet. I guess most you know designers or most fragrance companies really amp up the sweetness for the colder months. So the first one that I came up with is one that I picked up very, fairly recently. It's Aqua di Jo and it's the Absolute Instinct. I did the whole Aqua di Jo line. I'll link it in the top if you're interested in this particular line. The Absolute Instinct for me is the heaviest one out of that line and it never really gets too sweet. Now there's a sweet touch in there, but it's not overly sweet. Alberto Morias created this one that was launched in 2019, so it's a relatively new one. The top notes of Absolute Instinct are going to be C notes, bergamot, and lemon. Now you're probably asking yourself, why would he put you know, something with C notes for fall and winter? In this one, because it is deeper, it is more dense, it doesn't really smell like the ocean to me, although there is a hint of the outdoors in this fragrance. There's also some seaweed and there's a good amount of patchouli in here. The seaweed is barely noticeable, but what really sticks out in this fragrance is the patchouli. It's a really dense patchouli. And in the base, you're going to have some ebony wood, which is really nice and dark, and you're also going to have some amber. So this fragrance is plenty warm enough for the fall. It might not be quite you know, dense enough for the winter time, indoors perhaps, but outdoors, if you're like in the frigid weather, it's probably not going to be good enough. But for the fall, as it gets cooler, this one is a great scent. Out of the Aqua di Jo line, I think, for the cooler weather, this is the one to pick. My next one, it's a really beautiful one. It's been around for a while, or at least the original has been around for a while. And it's by one of my favorite perfumers and it's by Nathalie Lursan. And it is from Lalique. It is A L'Extreme from 2018. Now, of course, you could go with the original one from 2006, which the original one had some cypress, had some vetiver, some cashmere wood and some musk, which I think this is a great one for like rainy days. You could wear it in the warmer weather or as it gets a little bit cooler. But what I really think if it gets cooler to go with the Ah L'Extreme from 2018. This one right here also by Natalie Lorson has a deeper kind of body to it. There is some cypress, there is some Elemi resin and bergamot at the top. And as it dries down, you'll have some Haitian vetiver and there's some auras uh, and incense in this fragrance, which deepen it and give it a nice sort of smoky feel. There's also benzoin, sandalwood, and a good dose of patchouli in the base. This is a really wonderful one in the style of the original Ancre Noir from 2006, if you really like this one. Natalie Larson did a really good job kind of deepening that whole fragrance and you still have the remnants of the original Ancre Noir in this one, one of my favorites. Of course, I love this one too. But that's my choice number two for the cooler weather, Ancre Noir à l'Extreme from 2018. And the next one, we're gonna go a little bit boozy and powerful. And this choice is going to be Bentley for men and it's the Intense. Now this one is from 2013. It still makes best winter and fall fragrance lists for many uh, YouTubers over and over and over and for good reason. There's some black pepper up top. You have some bay leaf, which is a really kind of a dense smell anyway. You have some rum, you have some woody notes. There's some cinnamon in this one, some geranium, and there's a 
a really good amount of smoke in there, some leather and patchouli, also some benzoin. I mean, there's a lot of fragrances or a lot of fragrance notes in this scent and it is very powerful and it lasts all day, great protection and it's a really kind of a manly scent. It is not sweet, there's nothing sweet in here. The geranium maybe just a little bit and of course a little bit of sweetness from the cinnamon but not really that much. Everything else is just going to be rum, leather, woods, great scent for the fall that is not sweet and lasts all day. And the next one, we're gonna go a little bit more elegant, a little bit more animalic. I guess that can go together in the right circumstances. And it's going to be a release from Cartier and it is Pasha and it's the perfume version. The original Pasha from 1992 had notes of lavender, there's some mint in this fragrance, also some caraway, so it gave it a little bit of a, a little bit of a dirtiness. Also a strong note of anise in this fragrance. And then, you know, you had some oak moss, sandalwood, and some patchouli them in the bottom from 1992. It's a really good fragrance. It's a little bit dated today, I think, but I still wear it every now and then for memory's sake. In the original fragrance from 1992, the perfumer was Jacques Cavalier. Uh, in 2020, the release for the perfume, we have a different perfumer on here and we're going to have Mathilde Laurent. Mathilde worked on fragrances for Cartier before Pasha, like Declaration d'un Soir. It's a really beautiful fragrance. I haven't sprayed it in a while, let's give it a... Really lovely. Not something for the winter time, it's more something for the summer, but it's a, nonetheless, it's a great fragrance. So in 2020, you know, the Pasha perfume was re-released and, you know, she was working on that one. And the only sort of notes that remain constant from the original 1992 is going to be the labdanum and the patchouli. In 2020, the release of Cartier, you're going to have some sandalwood, there's some liquor notes in there. There's also some balsam fir, which keeps it kind of a little bit on the, on the edgy, fresher side. This is a really great fragrance. For someone who wants to smell unique, a little bit of an animalic touch. I think the animalic touch comes from a note called um, ambrosinide uh, or simrise. And it's described here as a powerful and very sharp woody scent with a ambery, slightly animalic and smoky agarwood tones. And I can definitely see that this is in, the, in here but it's a wonderfully recrafted fragrance from the good original 1992. This is a 2020. And I think this is a great fall and winter fragrance for you if you don't want to smell like everybody else and it's not too sweet. And then my final choice, and it is Mustache by Rojas. This is probably my favorite Rojas fragrance that I have at this point. I really enjoy wearing this one. It's kind of a little bit barbershoppy, uh, but not too fresh. There's some pink pepper, there's a little bit of mandarin orange in here. The Bulgarian rose and the cedar together just make this one a really special scent. Benzoin, some vanilla in the base, and some patchouli. It never really gets too sweet. It has its own unique DNA. I don't have anything else that smells like that. It's a great choice for the fall and winter months. If you want something that's not too sweet, smell unique, definite compliment getter. And it's a little bit on the barbershoppy side. Great one for the fall and winter if you don't want to be too sweet. That was it. Five choices of fragrances that you can wear if you don't want to be too sweet for fall and winter. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, love, like, subscribe, you know, all those wonderful things. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and I will talk to you soon. Until then, Centrail.